वेलकम ऑल दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फोर ऑफ वैक्टर कैलकुलस इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वैक्टर इंटीग्रेशन एंड फर्स्ट पार्ट इज लाइन इंटीग्रल सो द्वेश्चन अराइज इज वट इज लाइन इंटीग्रल द इंट्रीगल विच इज इवेल्युएटेड एलोंग ए कर्व इज कॉल्ड Line integral, path integral, contour integral, and curve integral are the another name of the line integral. Here, integrand may be scalar field or vector field. So, in the line integral, it is not the necessary that it is scalar field or it is vector field. It may be scalar or vector. Let capital C be a simple curve, and the parametric representation of C be written as x is the function of t, y is also the function of t, and z is also the function of t. And the position vector of the path on the curve C can be written as vector r is equals to x t i plus y t j plus z t k. Then a line integral of a vector function. Vector f over the curve C is defined as circular integral C vector f dot vector dr. So to elaborate it, we take some example based on this particular line integral. So first example is if a force vector f is equals to 2x square y i plus 3x y j displays a particle in the x y plane. From 0, 0 to 1, 4, along a curve y equals to 4x square, find the work done. We have to find the work done. So to solve it, we know that the formula of work done is integral c vector f dot vector dr. So what is vector f? Vector f is 2x square y i plus 3x y j. So right here, and dr dr is from the vector r, and the vector r is x i plus y j plus z k but there is the x y plane so in case of x y plane z is equals to 0 so vector r is converted into x i plus y j so vector dr is equals to i dx plus j dy so right here now make the dot product with these two functions and in the dot product i dot i and j dot j both are one and the rest are zero so we directly make the dot product and the dot product will be 2x square y dx plus 3xy dy. Now see, we have to find work done along a curve y equals to 4x square. So we can replace y directly here. That is, on putting y equals to 4x square, so that dy is equals to 8x dx, and the limit. Now see. This entire function, this entire integral, will convert into the x. So the limits of the x exist here, and the limits are from here 0, 0 to 1, 4. That is the limit for x is initial limit is 0, and the end limit is 1. So the limits of x are 0 to 1. So on replacing all these terms, we get work done equals to integral 0 to 1 to x square as it is. Value of y is 4x square dx as it is plus 3x value of y is 4x square and the value of dy is 8x dx. Now it is 8x raised to power 4 and it is 96x raised to power 4. So 8x raised to power 4 dx plus 96x raised to power 4 dx. So it is 104x raised to power 4 dx. So we can take 104 outside the integration. So it is integral 0 to 1 x raised to power 4 dx. So the integral of x raised to power 4 is x raised to power 5 upon 5. So on putting the limit 1 0 to 1, so it is 1 by 5. Or the entire work done is 104 by 5. So this is the required solution of this problem. Example two. Evaluate integral c vector f dot dr. Where vector f is x square i plus x y j, and curve C is the rectangle in the x y plane. 
बाउंडेड बाई वाई इक्व टू जीरो एक्स इक्व टू ए वाई इक्व टू बी एंड एक्स इक्व टू जीरो सो टू सॉल्व इट फर्स्ट मेक अ रेक्टेंगल सो so here this is the x axis and this is the y axis so at x axis y equals to 0 and at this particular point y equals to b and same as at y axis x equals to 0 and at this particular point x equals to a so the coordinate of point a are a0 coordinate of b ab and coordinate of c 0 b so we are talking uh, this particular rectangle whose boundary conditions are given so vector f dot dr integral c vector f dot dr can rewrite because this is the line integral so it uh, goes to along the lines so integral for the line oa vector f dot dr plus integral for the line ab vector f dot dr plus integral for the line bc vector f dot dr and integral for the line co vector f dot dr now this is the circular integration so basically it moves either clockwise or anti clockwise so now it is moving anti clockwise direction so for the first vector f dot dr is vector f is 2x square yi uh, sorry vector f is x square i plus xyj and the vector dr as discussed in the previous question vector dr is i dx plus j dy so the vector f dot vector dr is x square dx plus xy dy now integral c vector f dot vector dr for the oa the initial condition for x initial limit are 0 for x equals to 0 and the last limit for x is a so the limit is 0 to a now here see y equals to 0 so it means the dy is also 0 so here this entire term xy dy is vanished only the term x square dx remains so we write here x square dx plus for the integral ab for this ab x is equals to a so dx is equals to 0 so from here this first term is 0 and this is ay dy now the function is converted into the y so the limit of y r 0 to b at this particular ab here y equals to 0 and at this particular point y equals to b so the limits are 0 to b now for the bc plane this bc y is equals to b it means dy equals to 0 so from here this xy dy is converted into 0 because dy is equals to 0 so only x square dx remains now the function is in x so the limit of x at this particular point is a and at this particular point is 0 so limits are a to 0 plus for the co at this point x equals to 0 so the dx is also 0 so when we put x equals to 0 dx is equals to 0 then vector f dot dr is entirely 0 so here integral and the limit for the y exist here basically so at this particular point y equals to b and at this particular point y equals to 0 so the limits are integral b to 0 and the function is 0 so uh, there is no need to write it or you can write it uh, because it vanishes so now integral of x square is x cube by 3 under the limit 0 to a a is the constant limit of integral of y is y square by 2 under the limit 0 to b same as x square is x cube by 3 under the limit a to 0 and plus 0 now see this is x cube by 3 under the limit 0 to a and this is x cube by 3 under the limit 
0 to a. So, when we put a limit here, it is a cube by 3, it is a b square by 2 and it is 0 minus a cube by 3. So, now see here, this a cube by 3 is cancelled out by this a cube by 3. So, only a b square by 2 remains. So, this is the required value of integral c vector f dot vector dr under the given circumstances. Hope you understand this entire phenomena. Now moving on to the next example. Example 3. If vector f equals to yi minus xj, evaluate integral c vector f dot dr from 0, 0 to 1, 1 along the following path. Number 1, the parabola y equals to x square. Number 2, the straight line from 0, 0 to 1, 0 and then to 1, 1. So, to solve it, we first draw the straight line from 0, 0 that is the origin 1, 0 at this particular point, 1, 1 at this particular point. So, this is the triangle. So, first, uh, this is for the second case. For the first case, the parabola y equals to x square. This lies from this particular, this uh, just like this. This. So, vector f dot vector dr is yi minus xj dot product with. Now, see, it is clear that i and j only two x's are remain are shown here. So, this is of the in the xy plane. So, that's why z is equals to 0. So, we take r as dr as i dx plus j dy. So, the dot product is y dx minus x dy. Now, let it is equation number 1. So, in first case, C is the arc of the parabola y equals to x square from 0, 0 to 1, 1. So, it means, now see here, it is 0, 0 and it passed through here. So, so it is 1, 1. When we put x equals to 1, y is also 1. So, it passed through at this particular point. So, from here, dy is equals to 2x dx. So, from here, x varies from 0 to 1. So, putting all these things in the equation number 1. So, integral c vector f dot vector dr is equal to integral 0 to 1. Putting the value of y as x square. So, it is x square dx minus x. The value of dy is 2x dx. So, putting here. So, x square dx minus 2x square dx. So, it is minus x square dx. So, the integral of x square is x cube by 3 under the limit 0 to 1. So, putting the limit, we get minus 1 by 3 is the required value in the first case when path is along the parabola y equals to x square. Now, moving on to the second case. The second case is C is consisting of a straight line OA and AB. So, along OA, this y is equals to 0 and dy is also 0 and in this particular case x varies from 0 to 1 as discussed in the previous question and along ab x is equals to 1 so dx is also 0 and y varies from 0 to 1 so keeping in mind all these things we are replacing here so integral 0 to 1 when y equals to 0 and dy equals to 0 then this entire function will be 0. So, it is 0 into dx, we write here, plus, and when we put x equals to 1 and dx equals to 0, then this is 0, y dx is 0, and this is minus 1 dy, under the limit 0 to 1 for the case of y. So, it is integral 0 to 1 minus 1 dy. And the integral of dy is y under the limit 0 to 1. So, the value is minus 1. So, this is the required solution 
in this second case. So hope you enjoyed this lecture of line integral. We will meet in the next lecture with a new phenomena. Thank you.